Alright, well, I thought that was be a little bit harder than that. Uh, welcome back to the Meat Prep Series, episode 35 or 36. I'm completely lost right now. Um, but anyways, I, I can't believe that we're literally less than two weeks out now. It's less than two weeks out from this entire long, two-month-long YouTube series it's coming to a close. Um, if you've been here since the very beginning, then thank you. I appreciate you so much. If you're new, you got to make sure to catch up all the way through because we've got a lot of content out for you guys. Anyways, today I got RP7, seven, seven and a half singles. I just did 252 and a half, 555, 556 pounds. And honestly, I didn't have too much hype behind it. Didn't get like too hyped up. Um, honestly, it felt like light on my back. I feel really, really good today. The energy here is great, uh, not too overwhelming. And honestly, I feel like I could have squatted six today. Which I'm really happy about. I'm, like my standards are really good. My knees are locked. My depth is great. And honestly, I'm really excited for, to put everything together on the platform. Um, today, I have to do, I think, 177 and a half or 175 on bench. So I'm gonna take commands on that and then go from there. So let's wrap the squats real quick and then head on to bench. Also guys, if you clicked onto this video because of the title or the thumbnail, then you must be a beginner in powerlifting. You want to know how to get into your first meet and what to expect. Basically throughout this entire video, I'm going to talk to you guys about why I think you should powerlift, what to expect in your first meet, and how to do very, very well so you don't bomb out of your first meet. Click base. Let's go. Alright guys, it looks like I know what I'm doing with my leg on the chair. That was just a crotch shot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright guys, so first piece of advice when going to your first meet, never worry about making weight. Never worry about cutting weight. So, that being said, if whatever you're training at in your off season, you want to go into that interior meet prep because you don't want to worry about that. You don't have many variables going to meet day. So with that being said, my first meet, don't do what I did. If you watch my first meet recap video, put the link right here. It's literally the first YouTube video on this channel. <laughs> I, I cut like 10 pounds and I didn't do the best. I was like, I did better in training than I did in the meet, but I had a good time. And that's the thing you want to do when you're doing your first meet. You want to have a good ass time. Um, meet a lot of people, talk to a lot of people, make some friends. And um, honestly, I, I think I met a lot of my training partners there. Like I met Tim, um, I met a lot of people in the New Jersey lifting community. So it was a really good experience for me. And it got, well, it's what got me hooked into powerlifting in general. So. Dude, look what powerlifting did for you. Because of that first meet, you have your gym, own gym now. Yeah, I know, right? Literally. It's kind of crazy how the, you know, how the turns table, bro. How the turns table. Right, Tim? No. We're talking about how seven years ago I met you in my first meet, Tim. And I ratioed, I ratioed him in my first meet. Bro beat Tim in his first meet. Yeah, bro, he was 35 years old and I was 16. I just finished puberty, bro. All right guys, so honestly the most important lift uh, during the meet is the squats, it's the first one. You wanna get out of the way, make sure you sync every single one of your squats, make sure you listen to all the commands. If you don't know any of the commands going into your first meet, you are definitely gonna bomb out. Like that is like probably the most important thing because if you don't abide by the rules, then you're gonna get reds for every single one of your lifts. So you have to know all the commands, like what to bring into the meet, like your clothing, everything like that. So uh, be well prepared for that. Um, I'm pretty sure Game Day has a video about the rules and regulations, so I can link that somewhere in this video too. Um, I think I had to, that has like 10,000 views on it too. It's on yeah, Tim's page. Yeah, it's a good video. So with that being said, make sure that you watch or follow all the rules going into the meet and know them and like know to wait for any command, know like, uh, when to go up on the platform. And obviously you need to have a handler. That's probably the second most important thing. If you don't have a handler or a friend helping you out for the entire day, you are fucked. Like honestly having a handler takes up like 10 times the amount of stress than, you, than you're, you're doing. You want to focus on lifting the weights only and you want your handler to take care of all the little important shit around you, okay? Also, uh, how do you deal with the squat nerves for the first meet? It's the first lift, I think it's your most lift, nervous lift. For everyone, yeah, honestly squats, like legitimately if, if you miss your first squat, like legitimately the, the nerves, the anxiety, everything just races towards you because like now you're at risk of bombing out and you just started the meet. You need to start the ground off like um, with a, on, the, on, the good side, on the good side, so like, if you don't, if you don't open up like conservative, if you don't open up like something that you know you can smoke, then you're gonna be fucked. Because like then you'll be overthinking everything, be a lot stressful going to the rest of the meet. So uh, my biggest piece of advice for squats is open up conservative for your first meet. Um, like I said, you can take bigger jumps or take jumps accordingly, but if you open up way too heavy, then you are screwed. You do not wanna go into a meet 
go into a meet like missing your first two squats, missing your first three squats, because then you're kind of screwed with the rest of the meet. So now I got bench. I have to do a single today. Uh, I'm gonna do all my three commands, and I'll talk about the bench commands after I'm done with it. Let's go. Fail or miss? It's going in the video. I'm so ready for this. I'm You're so pulling 705. Dude, I want to compete so bad right now. I'm just holding us all back. You're holding me back. You're holding, holding Quinn back. back right now, dude. You're holding back Tim. I know, man. I want to get this beat over with, but then we got to go to Hawaii. We don't want to talk about it later. We're going to talk about that later. No, we haven't. And all right. LeBron James. Dude, I feel great today. I did 175 for my pause single with commands. If you guys saw my last second to last warm up, I jumped the command because I'm a bot. Uh, I got really antsy on that press and I thought I'd, I paused it long enough. But my head judge, Kate, told me that I rushed the, the, the jump command there. So, with that being said, I cleaned up my 170 and my 175 and I did all three commands. Start, press, and rack. And those are three really important commands. You don't want to jump any of them on bench or else you get a red flag. So, most important advice, like I said, make sure you know all the rules going into bench. Make sure your head's on the bench, your butt's on the bench, your heel's on the floor. Actually, your head doesn't have to be on bench anymore. Oh yeah, true, you're right. You're right, but yeah, those are the those are two things at least that you need to have on the bench or on the floor um, whenever you're benching in the USAPL or the IPF. So that being said, um, the mine mine felt really good, looked really good. Um, now I have to do like two more back off sets and then I'm gonna go on to those. I want to those already, bro. Also, Fucking. Mm. Also, one more thing to put in. So you mentioned just uh, getting the start command set. Your elbows have to be locked out. Or yeah, elbows have to be locked out and like. Some people take their hand off with their butt off the bench. Your butt needs to be planted on the bench or else you're not gonna get the star command. And um, yeah, that, that's basically the way it goes down. But yeah, real easy commands for bench. And honestly, Delve has the least command on command, just the down command. You gotta make sure you're locked out all the way through. But, but yeah, those are uh, probably, uh, for the first meet, you gotta make sure you know all the rules. But before we go uh, further into any more lifting, I wanna talk about how you need to eat and hydrate on meet day because you're gonna be sweating, you're gonna be using a lot of energy, so you need to eat like a lot of sodium carbs and have a lot of water, like a lot of water. You're gonna be sweating. I'm sweating right now, I'm not even competing. But you know what? They're not gonna hear that until after this ad. I'm gonna put my entire audience on the drink hall. Yeah, put us on, bro. Put you on. I'll turn you on. Uh, your first meet experience is supposed to be a really fun time and um, definitely surround yourself with a, a good crowd around you so whenever you get to the gym or whenever you get to the meet find a good rack to work in with people that you really vibe with um, have a handler obviously make sure they're handling everything that they need to do the responsibilities as a handler um, calling your warm selection making sure that you know when to go when to eat when to hydrate and hopefully you get a lot of these uh, these tips and keys into your next meet and your first meet and you put it together really well because obviously you want this to go really really well it sets the tone for the future meets going forward um, my first meet, for example, is what got me into the sport, and I wouldn't be where I am if I never did that first meet to begin with. So, if you're if you're waiting to do your first meet because you feel like you're not strong enough, then bro, I was weak as hell my first meet. Like honestly, like I I thought that 
I, I didn't want to wait too long, like training, to do my first meet because I just wanted to get into it. And obviously, like I would be where I am if I didn't do my first meet. But I really think for the people that I met um, at that first meet, um, and then like the training opportunities I had going forward. So um, if this if this is the sign that you need to do your first meet, then fucking sign up right now. Sign up. I don't have a discount code. I'm just telling you to sign up for USAPL, IPF, USPA, WRPF, any type of federation. As long as you're doing a powerlifting meet, then I'm fully supported. But yeah, this is gonna be the closing part of this this portion of the video. So I'm excited to uh, continue the rest of my day today. I'm going to watch my client's concert. My client Mike from the last video. He's a uh, he's an orchest orchestra. What is conductor. that called? Conductor. Conductor. He's a conductor for the University of Texas. So I'm excited to watch. I don't know if I can bring a camera in there, but I don't know. You're you're not going with me, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I'll, I'll vlog myself. And on I'll, the phone, I'll, bro. <laughs> no, bro. I'll bring the A7. And I'll figure it out. But this is the closing thoughts on the first meet experience. So. If you guys have any comments or anything, let me know down below in the comment section. But if you're still watching this video, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and join the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, then you're missing out on the opportunity to get discounts, early access, and meet awesome people. Join the Garden Discord. Link in the description down in the bio down here. All right, let's go. Welcome back to the next part of episode 35 of the Meet Prep series. Today, another different background. We're on the balcony of Jeff's apartment. Uh, I want to wrap my closing thoughts on your first meet. I mentioned before that I'm really encouraging, very... Um, I really want to pressure you guys to, to sign in for that first thing because I really think it's a great experience for everyone to do. So if you're anxious or scared or nervous to do one, then just fucking jump right into it. Please trust me because you're going to love it. And especially with the USAPL Federation, one that I can, I've competed in myself, I can vouch for them. And I, I honestly think um, game days meets are one of the best meets in the country. So if you are in Austin, you're in Texas, I'm going to promote that right now. Shameless plug. Sign up for a game day meet and say, the, say that I inspired you to do it. Anyways, today, to wrap up our video, we're going to go downtown, make a movie real quick because we have... Really, really, uh, it's really nice outside. It's like 70 degrees, 75 degrees, uh, and it's what, like March, almost March. Cold. <laughs> what? I have no idea what day it is. It's like February 28th, bro. Anyways, but the weather's fucking amazing, and I'm like really enjoying this because it's gonna get really hot real soon, and uh, I just want to soak it all up. So we're gonna make a movie tonight at sunset on a really nice uh view of the city skyline because honestly, I don't really do that much stuff in Austin besides go to the gym and go grocery shopping. So it's nice to get out of the house and do more stuff with my friends. I'm calling you my friend. My friend, my friend, uh, because Jeff left us now. Jeff's work, he's a working man. Talk Everyone's more about that later. Working. I know, we'll talk more about that. I can't talk about it yet. But, let's go do that shit. Alright guys, so I thought I'd change up my scenery a lot more than this video because uh, we're approaching the end of our YouTube series and we're legitimately almost 40 episodes deep into this prep and I'm like very thankful for everything that I've been supportive with this entire uh, meat prep series. Um, I've had successful training episodes, I've had successful like business episodes about the garden, talking about my new business venture that I had and it was a, a big step out of my comfort zone. So doing something like this, like I'm very, very thankful for everything that I've been blessed with and um, the opportunity to be given. Uh, I met a lot of people doing this. I've made a lot of like really good friendships because of my social media. That is a drone. Awesome. Nice. Anyways, uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been supporting and subscribing to my YouTube channel because this platform is, like I said, really different for me. And um, after this meet prep finishes, I'm going to still continue to make YouTube videos for you guys. So if you guys have any suggestions or comments about what you want to see from me, then let me know down below. But as for my future plans, personally, I'm, I signed up for another meet in Hawaii. Uh, in the last weekend of April, April 29th to be exact, and me and Joe are gonna be flying down to Hawaii. So it's gonna not, it's not gonna be part of the meat prep series because th this exclusive meat prep like is a little bit more serious than that one. But I'm excited for that. I'm, I might cut down a little bit of weight, get shredded for it, do some content like that. Um, I'm really really excited to go to Hawaii again because last year was like it's close to like a year since I last competed uh, in general. So I'm excited to see what I can do there. And obviously Hawaii, I'm going to be bringing Nano, Jeff, they're going to be coming with me and Joe's going to be there also. So a lot of content with them coming up in Hawaii and leading up to that. But April is going to be a very busy month for me. I have Collegiate Nationals as well, the second week of April. And I also have, uh, I think I go to Pennsylvania, I have to go to Luke's Meet, third week of April. So, I know. Dude, you're doing a lot of traveling. I'm going to be a Mr. Worldwide. But, yeah, a lot of content coming up. I'm really, really excited. But, uh, it's like I said, I just want to take a second to reflect on everything that's been given to me. So, if you're still watching the YouTube video, 
if you've still been watching every single one of my YouTube videos going forward. But uh, thank you so much, and hopefully see make even better content going forward. Like I, like I said, like I have a lot of plans for myself, a lot of plans for the garden, a lot of plans of game day. So um, I don't know what we're gonna be doing this time next year, but hopefully it's gonna be ten times bigger than this. Good. Okay, good. good. Up our day, I'm making dinner for me and Joseph. Making our my good old, good old reliable, bro. I'm making like a chicken thigh, rice, and Japanese barbecue sauce, bro. I'm gonna put you guys on. This is the goat of all. I'm not gatekeeping anymore. There's no more. I told Joseph I was gonna gatekeep this, but guys, this is the best sauce for any fucking type of protein that you're eating. You can be, you can be a vegan. You can be eating beef. You can be eating chicken. You can be eating eggs. Anything. This is legitimately the goat. Put you on. It's kind of expensive though. Like ten dollars a bottle, this tiny shit. So, it's worth. Yeah, it's so it's so fucking good, bro. Tell them, tell them right now. Vouch, vouch for me. It's actually probably the best. I'm not, sauce. I, dude. I'm literally not a good cook, but like this shit makes your food taste so much. Especially when you're dieting, man. Like, we eat the same shit every single day. Make every day after training, we just come here and eat chicken and white. And rice. we look forward to it. We look forward to it. Actually, this is the only chicken and white rice meal that I could eat every single day. That's actually saying, look at our rice just That's that timing, bro. That timing. <laughs> Uh, right now we're watching NBA house. Damian Lillard just scored 71 points last night. NBA is fucking rigged, man. It's crazy. But we're gonna wrap this video pretty soon. I know I'm gonna ask you guys. I'm gonna ask you guys, when you're eating dinner, when you're chilling, when you're, when you're relaxing, what are you watching? You watching YouTube? You watching, you watching me? You watching NBA house, watching NFL, NBA, anything. What do you love? Let me know down in the comments below. That'd be a good comment section for the, that'd be good. Oh, let's right. play this shit real quick. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we're going to wrap this video now. Um, this is going to be a pretty long one. And if you're here all the way to the end, then I appreciate you extra. Appreciate it big time. Um, I already left that comment section uh, thing down below already. So let me know what you watch during your off time, during your dinner time, whenever you're, with your, when you're chilling on your TV, um, relaxing. But uh, this is going to be the end of episode 36. Thank you guys so much for watching the entire video. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe, put the post notifications on, so make sure you see all of my videos for this entire meat prep. Uh, leave a like and leave a comment for your boy. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.